Hello, everybody. Do you guys hear me? Finally, we have some deep tech on stage. And today, I'm going to tell you about not your typical startup story, but about building an aerospace company. I am Max Oleg Schläger, one of the co-founders and chief commercial officer of ERC. Uh, when I was in university, I was studying to become an aerospace engineer. And if you're talking to aerospace engineers, usually what they want to do is they just want to build cool aircraft. For me as a founder, I actually always wanted to solve a large problem. I was always annoyed by the people that just want to build an aircraft for the sake of building an aircraft. So that's why we founded ERC. Every single year, 82 million patients need immediate medical transportation. So 82 million times, we need to transport a patient from one hospital to the other or directly into the hospital. But only a fraction of those patients, unfortunately, is getting the fastest possible transportation possible. And that is via the air. And the big reason, unfortunately for that, is cost. Flying is always a lot more expensive than going via the ground. And actually, if you're looking at a helicopter, it's 50 times more expensive. So when we founded ERC, we wanted to solve that time cost dilemma for the patients. And the way to do so is by building an electric aircraft. Our electric aircraft takes off vertically like a helicopter, but flies forward like an airplane. And now comes the cool thing about electric aviation. Electric aviation is 70 times, 70% 70 more cost efficient than any other conventional aircraft that's out there. Pretty cool. So two months ago, we met Andreas Kopke, one of the most experienced aerospace investors. And he told us, hey guys, I think what you're building is one of the most promising electric aviation platforms in Europe. Andreas must know his shit because he's invested in ESA Aerospace, also the exploration company, like everybody else, <laughs> uh, Viridian, Beyond Aero. Uh, and why am I telling you that? A lot of you might be thinking, hey, you claim to be the most promising electric aviation platform. I have never heard of this company before. And there's a reason for that. We've been very hyper-focused. And we've even been so hyper-focused that for four years, we haven't told anybody what we were building. For four years, we've built two full mass aircraft that we've tested in 100 flight days and made our way to a Series A stage without telling the world what we're doing. So why that? How did we get there? Let me rewind six years back. Here you can see me and my co-founders after university. My co-founders did a PhD, I did my master's, and what combined us is that we were sure that we are facing one of the largest revolutions that aerospace has ever seen. I don't know if you're aware, but the electrification of the aerospace is going to be the biggest game changer that aerospace has ever seen for 50 years. So the nerds that we were, we wanted to be one of the first ones building electric aircraft. So we founded a company called Out of Flight. Uh, it still exists. It's a quite large company these days. Uh, raised a lot of money, and we essentially already built a 300 kilogram and a 600 kilogram electric aircraft among one of the first ones in Europe. And then COVID hit, and our Chinese investors decided to pull out of Europe and relocate the whole company to China. And that's when we as founders decided that we are going to leave out of flight and start over. Because we were still convinced that the future of aviation it is going to be electric. So you're asking maybe why. And it's not about sustainability. There's a lot of people that think electrification is cool because it's a lot more sustainable. But flying never is. What really makes the difference is cost. We can decrease the cost heavily with electrification because there's two big things that drive the cost. And the first thing is maintenance. Second thing is energy cost. And unfortunately, I cannot make anything about the crew yet, but eventually we'll be unmanned, and that's going to be an even bigger game changer. So we started over, and we decided to be hyper-focused. And I know there's a lot of people that think that's a phrase, and every founder tells you, hey, you need to be hyper-focused with your company. But for us, that's been a core strategy, and I'll tell you why. There's three things that we did very different. 
Firstly, we focused very much on a vertical. Secondly, we wanted to take out as much technological risk as possible early on. And that's why we built full mass three ton electric demonstrators rather than small demonstrators. And thirdly, a lot of investors, they always care about certification. We do it as well. So we needed to have a very clear certification roadmap. So when I say enter a focused vertical, that is why we strategically decided for patient transportation. We're the only electric aviation company that's building an aircraft that's beating the helicopter that's used right now, 3x in cost, and that's beating the ambulances, which is what we replace, 3x in time. And secondly, as I said, we wanted to take out as much technological risk as possible. So for the first two and a half years, we've only done one thing, and that was building a three-ton electric demonstrator that's proving our whole technological concept. And I'm going to show you the video of our first flight now for the first time on stage. That was in 2022. What you see here is our aircraft, which might not be the sexiest aircraft, but don't tell my engineers. Uh, this is one of the biggest challenges that we've ever had because we built the heaviest electric demonstrator in all of Europe, even until today. What you see here is the first flight. We were quite nervous that day. And that's the aircraft we tested in 100 days, weighing three tons and proving that our concept essentially works. And the next thing was now to focus very much on the certification roadmap. So the next demonstrator that we built is already very close to the product that we can certify. And with that aircraft, we came out of stealth mode in July this year. So what you, what you see here is the second demonstrator. It is quite large. It's a manned aircraft, 50 feet in dimensions of 15 meters and it's already, again, more than 2.6 ton. It's starting vertically, flying forward, quite a large cabin, and it has its first flight early next year. So all that is nice, but it's very important because it led to us being 70% more capital efficient than any of the first movers in the electric aviation industry. I know there's a lot of startups that raised a billion euros and haven't even gotten into the air. And that's really not what we are. And that's also what's convincing the largest European and American operators that are out there. We this year signed uh, a partnership with Europe's largest customer within the air rescue operation fields. And now, together with our customers and together with our investors, we still believe that the future of aviation is going to be electric. And I don't know if you can imagine how this feels. A uh, hundred years ago, as an example that I always tell to all the people, we had the first cars. People were building the first cars. We can build finally something that drives on four wheels. Fifteen years ago, we finally can build an electric car. People were running around telling, hey, cars are going to be electric. We are the guys that are saying that within the electrification space, and all our customers believe it. In 15 to 20 years, we're going to have electric aircraft all over the world. I'm not saying that we're going to be the one company, but one thing is sure, there's going to be a lot of electric aircraft for a lot of use cases. And even though we specialize and focus very much on a vertical, our aspiration is to become the most promising electric aviation platform within the aviation field. So what we did is we focused very much on a go-to market, but we are building a platform that can be the transporter of the air. We have one of the largest aircraft that's very accessible, and we don't want to stop there because electrification of the aerospace is going to be all over the place, and there's going to be a lot more aircraft that we can develop all from our strategic base within the patient transportation sector. So personally, I hope that I can live up to Andreas Kupke's words by becoming one of Europe's electric aviation platforms. And hopefully, in the future, I will not only see a lot of uh, electric aircraft, but I will see our aircraft flying around. And if you want to see our aircraft flying around, please scan the QR code, add me on LinkedIn. I'll invite a few selected people to the first flight that's going to happen early next year of this beautiful aircraft. 
and feel free to come to me afterwards and ask me why I think this is the biggest game changer that the aviation industry has ever seen. Thank you.